You can't expect to make any sort of decent gains or success in crypto if you aren't at least yourself somewhat prepared for anything that pops up. Not relying on influencers, not relying on friends and family to tell you when to buy, sell, or what critical decisions to make with your hard-earned money. So today, I'm going to give you four crypto tools to allow you to break through all the noise, all the BS, and make critical decisions yourself, or at least use these to help you with those decisions, okay? The first one is a website called June. Now, you guys may have heard of this. I don't want to just throw you in and say, just check out June in general. I want to give you two particular tools created on June to help you with specifics, okay? We've got three more. Actually, I've got a little bonus one at the end as well. You really need to hear that one because this is going to cover a wide variety of things that you have to fundamentally understand. So before I get into this particular one here, you can see it's called VC Printer. I want to say if you find yourself at all going, I didn't know that, hadn't heard of that website, well, thank you. Go down there at that moment and hit the like button. That really does mean a lot for all I do over here. And hit the subscribe button so you can continuously get high quality crypto content every single day. And yes, it does make me sing in the shower. Now, what I want to do here is introduce you to something that I believe is one of the most important yet overlooked aspects of crypto. And that's understanding whether you are going to be dumped on in the market or not. A lot of people don't understand when VCs, venture capitalists, right, the guys who are institutions, buy the projects nice and cheap and buy sometimes millions of dollars worth before it launches, you have to know whether them getting their tokens or not is actually going to impact the price or not. I've made a video recently talking about a project called Pith Network. I exactly predicted what was going to come from the VC unlock. And if you had known that, you'd pretty much be 30% up, actually about 40% up on your gains right now, okay? So what we're looking at here is two things right off the rip. Number one is the VC supply allocation benchmark. This gives you an idea of, roughly speaking, when you're looking for your own projects, how much of the distribution should be given to a VC. So coming over here to Manta Network, we can total up all the private sales, all the VCs, and go, okay, is that equal to how much percentage, Okay. Now, of course, the benchmark here being 17.5%, that's average, so any more is probably a little bit too greedy on the side of the VC. Likewise, over here, we have a benchmark for how many multiples on average you know, all the VCs are up right now, or at least taking most of these projects into consideration. A lot of the ones mentioned on this list are ones that I talk about quite a lot, and thankfully, you know, this list of 20 or so altcoins are actually all quality ones at that. Likes of Optimism, Starknet, Aster, Ondo, Arkham Intelligence, uh, Alt Layer, Arbitrum, we've got Manta, Wormhole, Celestia, and so on. Now, one other thing I want to point you to here, and this is going to really play a big key into understanding whether, again, an unlock here is going to really be detrimental to the token price, or if it's just retail dumping, which means that we can get in quite cheap, is this here. VC dominance uh, and dump pressure. Now, notice the likes of Manta down here it has a high VC dominance, which means there's a lot of you know distribution given to the venture capitalists, right? These people who are going to dump on us, but yet the dump pressure is low. What does that mean? Well, they're basically what this means is they've been given a lot of the supply, more than the benchmark, more than the average, but they aren't likely to dump on us, at least in this cycle. If we just come across here a little bit more, we can see here the supply unlock at a period of time, and we can see the unlock schedule over here as well, which is basically this. It pretty much analyzes this for you. But what I really want you to kind of understand here is using this to get a better idea. You can see here 24% of this supply is in the hands of these guys. Again, it's above the benchmark average over here. And this will allow you to go, okay, well, one year cliff means that they don't get their tokens until one year. They're going to get 2.75% monthly over 36 months, which means from the time of Genesis, which is the very, very uh, zero down here at the start of Manta, again, that's when they kind of start getting their tokens, which is represented by this green color over here. So no, the likelihood we're, not, we're getting it dumped on is unlikely. And then we can kind of contrast that to Celestia on the other side of things, right? High VC dominance and high dump pressure. Now, this is actually bad. This is bad. They can have as much VC dominance as they want to, but when the dump pressure is high, well, this is what it looks like, okay? You can see this massive unlock coming over here very soon in year one, and pretty much all the unlocked tokens are being delivered to the venture capitalists, and there's a lot of tokens going to those guys. Now, that in of itself is concerning, but the last tool on this list, I want to introduce you guys to a way in which we can figure out how much money they're actually up right now. 
These guys look for a 10X sometimes, maybe a 20X, but usually no more than that, okay? But if they're a 1,000X or 100X up, that's quite concerning. So we can use June, the VC printer till here, as a first kick off the mark to get a better idea of how to analyze these schedules. Because again, like I said with Pith over here, we can expect a certain amount of dump or sell pressure to happen but on the day of the unlock itself, like we could see here, people panicked about this. You would have been up about 31% on that day alone, okay? And would have had a great entry level into Pith where it wasn't at that price, well, pretty much ever, okay? So in this case, we can really leverage this tool to understand what happens next. Now, there are two different types of unlocks and dumps. I'm not going to talk about the other one. Of course, the other one is in the case that, you know, these VCs have their actual tokens like Celestia, but we'll typically see here, is a potential sideways on the day and then a dump happens soon after, a much larger dump when they actually take profits. Next tool over here is called Crypto Buy Signal. Okay, I'll leave all links down below. This is a very easy way to just gauge whether we might see a potential, you know, swing in terms of altcoins here versus Bitcoin. Pretty well, simply, all you want to do is just read the instructions down here. It is very, very simple to understand. And as you'll notice that every time that the, the Bitcoin basically in this sort of dark grayish color here separates from the altcoin market in the light green color and the pretty much altcoin goes beneath the green line over here, we tend to see some massive, massive altcoin rallies. Now, it sometimes happens pretty instantly, like back over here at the start of the last bull run, we had a massive, massive alt season soon after this happened. But what actually sometimes can occur is some sideways movement for a month or two. All right, it's completely normal. But this is a great way for you to say, hmm, okay, everyone's telling us an altcoin season is about to kick off. But this usually happens once this green line goes beneath the horizontal green line, aka sell your house and buy altcoins. Now, on the flip, this could also happen with Bitcoin. Bitcoin can go beneath this green line. Whatever asset or group of assets fall beneath the green line, it's time to buy Whatever one hits this red line, it's usually time to sell. So you can see here, uh, Bitcoin is very, very close to this. Now, I do think that we'll probably see some more expansion on Bitcoin here before we see altcoins take off. But again, generally speaking, this is a pretty good tool to use to gauge overall market sentiment and what is to pump next, Bitcoin or alts. Let's relax our brain for a second here and get back to being ahead of the curve in just a moment. But first, I wanted to introduce you to a super new and ultra low market cap coin with some serious potential called Tars AI. Now, Tars actually reached out to sponsor today's video to tell you all about their super interesting AI focused project. And I actually wanted to say a big thank you to Tars because without them, I couldn't continue to bring high quality daily crypto content to you. Tars is an AI driven, scalable, Web3 infrastructure project built on the Solana blockchain that facilitates the operational transition from Web2 to Web3 for individuals and also businesses with many types of products and services. But the key part here is AI. TARS leverages artificial intelligence in almost all of their products as it's the very pinnacle of work and home life operation these days, especially when it comes to working within Web3. Products like their Web3 AI aggregator, AI wallet in multi-chain AI, bridging tool all actually integrate seamless use of crypto tech with the inclusion of AI. Not to mention as well, they also offer blockchain as a service and custom token creation for businesses looking to scale their own networks, leveraging, well, you guessed it, AI. All this to say their products allow users to remain at the spearhead of the AI revolution whilst transitioning their operations from a Web2 only environment into a Web3 one as well. Now, you might be asking, what's the benefit of this? Well, the benefit of transitioning to Web3 is the cross-border and flexible ecosystem that has been flourishing over the last few years, which is also a great hedge into the future technology developments. Interestingly, TARS is the only AI altcoin to be directly backed by the Solana Foundation with a $300,000 grant and a possible multi-tweet support campaign coming soon as well, alongside other large crypto influencers. Like any crypto veteran should know, growth in this space has all got to do with a successful marketing campaign, which is what TARS is aiming to accomplish here. They're even looking to list on Bybit and KuCoin, two very popular tier one exchanges, which should bring in even more demand. If you want to know more about TARS, do not forget to go down below and use the links to research more because as you all should know, you need to do your own research. Let's get back to the video. The second website today is a website to gauge overall sentiment in a project, right? To gauge the strength of the community, the evangelists, and the general people who are come and go you know, buy based on hype and then panic and sell at the very, very top, right? Now, this is called Lunar Crush. I talk about Lunar Crush all the damn time and why it's so important to actually use a tool like this. 
is when you break down what makes a project pump in crypto, guys, number one, it's the narratives, right? Where is it situated in the market? Is it AI? Is it a meme coin? What is it? Next is actually the meme itself. What makes it unique? Why do people want to buy it? And why does it stand out above the rest? You can kind of also say and group into that as well, if it's easy to understand, if it's a complicated project focusing on a very specific thing that developers really only need in use, it's not going to get much traction. And of course, number four here being popularity. This is all things I teach. Popularity means marketing. Marketing is very, very important. Without marketing, it could be a great project. No one's going to buy it. And the way we gauge marketing is by coming to, again, Lunar Crush, links down below, typing in your project, or just coming over here to the categories and finding uh, cryptocurrencies, which is down the bottom over here, clicking this, and a list of altcoins will pop up. I usually just end up typing in, for example, so let's type in, um, let's go, for example, Oasis Network over here, let this load up, and all I pretty much do is click on about three to six months. I probably wouldn't go any more than that because we tread into the bear market case. Three months might be a better gauge so far of general interactions, and then pressing interactions over here. Now, the free version of this might not let you click one year anyway, but I believe the one, uh, the six month will anyway. So once we click that, we have a look at this average over here. You guys can't quite see that. I'll move my screen a little bit. You can see 1.1 million average daily interactions, which are coming from top creators in the space, which are down here. What you typically want to see is crypto influencers themselves talking about the project specifically, right? We call these people evangelists or pretty much, um, I guess, people who have the most amount of weight in a project, right? So this can include people like myself, right? If I was someone who just spoke about Oasis Network, you would want to see me on this top creator list. Because what that is, it's free marketing. I'm always talking about the project because I love it or have a vested interest in it, whatever. You want to find people like this. So what I would do is then search up this guy on Twitter, I want coin news, and see, does this guy like strictly talking about Oasis or that's one of his top projects he speaks about? Or is he like a news channel, right? Is he just mentioning Oasis and got a lot of traction? Of course, we're going to find likely that the actual project itself is in this list. But again, we're trying to find people who love talking about the project, again, evangelists, whales, whatever, all right? It's a very, very good sign to see. Now, if they don't have creators that you know are evangelists and their average interactions are quite low, that can be a little bit of a red flag. Now, there is one contingency to this, which I'll touch on later on, but ultimately speaking, I would say generally, if the market cap's around 1 billion, you can probably expect around a 1 million interaction count. So that's probably about average in this case, and that obviously scales down and upwards. If a project has like 3 million interactions per day, like this was 3 million, and it was like a 500 million market cap coin, that's a very good sign that there's a strong community waiting for a specific news or trigger event to then jump in and buy more. There's buzz around it, which is a very good sign to see indeed. On the contrary, of course, if there is, if it's a high market cap coin, with a you know, comparable low amount of average interactions, that is very bad. And that can mean the project is out of fashion. No one's talking about it. This is why it's very important to probably go for the six monthly to see a longer stretch of the average here, because sometimes it can go through hot and cold spouts of, of pretty much interest. Now, in addition to this popularity aspect of what I teach on the channel and pretty much estimating whether it's going to be a future surge of demand, we look at something regarding roadmaps, right? Predicting events that are going to pretty much pique people's interest in a project at a given time. Now, for this, I use Coin Market Calendar. I use this a lot in the last cycle, actually, and it really did help me get some of those random coins, pick and buy, and make a quick buff on it. Now, it's very dangerous to do that, but this also gives you a better outlook on the market. If I had the time, at least one time a week, every Sunday, run through this for half an hour and just scroll through each page. So this is just a calendar that is created and run by the community, okay? So everything on here is basically um, upvoted, real or fake, based on the community and interest. You can see this has 2,000 votes, and uh, it's verified by the team. So there's a few different symbols for this. So uh, green is verified by representative. Uh, this arrow is trending, and the fire is hot. You want to find ones that kind of tick multiple of those. But you're looking again, uses as an advantage, right? So we can see here the halving for Ethereum Classic is coming up. And if we just scroll down, I think it's page seven. What I've actually done on this is made sure I've used the dates over here from the 31st of the 5th to the 30th of the 6th. So only forecasting one month out. We can see Mina Protocol has a massive upgrade, 91 votes. This will be pretty big for the price. So we can kind of speculate and buy now for the 4th of June to hopefully get 
our, our foot in the door before actually people start buying the rumor. And if I believe I've come to page six, we can actually see something important. The ASI token merger. Now, not much, not many people have seen this just yet, which is good. You kind of want to find big events that haven't got much interest on here. But this will be a trending particular topic because this is a very, very, very big move in the world of AI. Three top AI coins merging together to create a new AI powerhouse coin, okay? So use this to your advantage. Like seriously, how important is this? Well, it's very important. If we had analyzed this, you know, back at the start of this year slash end of last year when AOs actually ended up re kind of refreshing their websites, we would have been able to pick up a quick and easy 20x gain, right? Over here was at well, 1.5 cents, spiked up to 20 cents, moved sideways, and then went up a further like whatever that was, 20x or so, okay? So you would have picked up like a good 40x by just seeing the AOS website refresh and speculating based on coin market calendar. Now, the last two websites work hand in hand because they're very similar. They have unique differences, but I use both. I'm serious. Almost every single review video I do to confirm different aspects of a coin. So they are number one, coin carp, and the second is crypto rank. Now, these have really awesome, unique aspects. Like we can see Coin Cup over here. You've got the fundraising, so you can see investors and portfolios, right? So you can actually come here and have a look. So who's Coinbase actually invested in? You do have to sign in to see the full list down here, but you can see who they're investing in, how much money hasn't been invested in them. All this amazing stuff that really typically have to pay for. My subscription to a website called Crunchbase is like 500 bucks for the year. And this gives it to you extremely cheap and easy, right? So... Not just this, of course, I have a whole list of old queens as well. News, audio, fundraising, so on. But why I use it is if I type in Celestia over here in the search bar and this loads up, we can see over here fundraising and tokenomics. So if you hit fundraising, we can come down here to the fundraising rounds and sometimes it does and or doesn't give you the actual funding price. It does tell you the investors. It does tell you how much money they raised, of course, and gives you all the bells and whistles. They have an IDO. You can see launch pads, upcoming active and just a whole bunch more, right? So the way in which I kind of use these together is in situations like this, where I don't really have any sort of priced uh, discovery on how much money or what average token price these investors got in at. So I'll come over to Crypto Rank. Again, this works vice versa. I'll type in Tia, like Celestia again. And then once this loads, I'll click Fundraising at the very top. And this, in this case, will actually give me the price. So we can see over here, private two, private and seed round, and how many multiples they're up. So 1,100x. So we can kind of use these in combination with this VC printer to give us a better idea of how many multiples these you know VCs are up. Because again, they will likely sell anywhere from a 10x plus. Like these guys aren't looking to be greedy. And if they're a 1,000x up, they're going to sell when they get their tokens. Like that's when we can kind of use these in combination. Now, there is an additional little tool that you can use on here that isn't actually on Coin Car, and that is Token Unlocks, you can see over here. Token Unlocks and Vesting. So this will give you all the upcoming Token Unlocks due to happen, which you can scroll down on. Again, you can search through this, filter coins, add coins to your watch list, you know, tick, and, tick off or tick on small coins. It goes on from there, all right? So again, you can kind of use this to get a better idea of when unlocks happen. Just remember, unlocks themselves don't decrease the price immediately usually it's from speculation but if vcs get their tokens okay and they're up quite a lot they will likely sell their tokens okay like in the case of celestia unlike the case probably of manta all right guys that's going to cover it today use these to your advantage do some more digging yourself don't just rely on me and what i've told you here today get them they're all free to use they're all great to use and i want to hear down below some of your success stories from using them thanks all talk to you soon take care bye